Hello everybody, Mr. Harry here with a YouTube channel about how to get new sounds from your guitar using objects. Today we're going to talk about pegs and clips. Well, there are different kinds of them. There are wooden, plastic or metal clips. We're going to start with metal clips. I'm going to use a metal clip like this. It's a metal clip that is used in the office for papers. I'm going to put the clip here on the string so that it uh, uh, can bounce. And I'm going to get my guitar a little bit angled because uh, gravity will keep the, the clip against the bridge otherwise it will stick to the pickup because it's metal and the pickup is magnetic okay um, I I'm gonna play the uh, lower E string with the clip on the lower E string okay and I get this buzzy sound, but if I play the A string, which is the, uh, the, the string below the E string, I get this sound. I get this bouncy sound, it's more pleasing than the buzzy sound of the E string. So, let's try the plastic peg. Now I will keep the guitar back horizontally because it's plastic and I will n I, there will be no problems with the, with the pickup. Now I'm playing the E string. Now I'm playing the A string. Now let's try a wooden one. No? This one is quite big and uh, as we will see it's probably uh, too heavy for the strings. Let's listen. This was on the E string, now I, I'm playing the A. If I use a smaller one, like this one, I get this sound. It's too soft for the E string. Now let's try the A. It's probably too light, okay? So, I got another kind of plastic clip, which is this one. It's another clip, it's similar to a um, money clip. It's quite difficult to put it on the string when you're doing this in a live, during a live show. So I, I recommend to use it during uh, studio sessions, it's better. and. I put it on the E string and it sounds like this. I like the sound of, of this of this clip, but now I make it bounce on the uh, uh, A string and I'm playing the A string. This is interesting, okay? Now it's difficult also to remove it from the string. So remember, just in the studio. I also use the alligator clips. The alligator clips are very cool because they can divide the string in two parts and you will get this uh, ring modulator like a sound, just very bell like sound like this. And depends on where you put it, you 
<laughs> it's difficult. Okay. You will get a kind another sound. If I move it here, it's different again. Okay. I like the sound of the of the alligator clip here on the 12th uh, fret because it kind of divides the guitar into and it's you will get a, a, a pitch that it's almost correct. It's never correct, but kind of correct. Okay, I like to make it bounce on the fret, on the fretboard. And to make this, we make sure that the longer part of the alligator clip stays up while the shorter one stays down towards the fretboard. And we get this. And it vibrates on the on the fretboard. And now we have the clip here on this string and the other alligator clip here on the higher E string. I will show you how I use these uh, clips in my live shows for my song. This one is for is from my third album that is called Ornery. <laughs> And that's all for today. See you next time.